Well, good morning, everybody. This is Tish, just doing what I do. I know you can't see me well, and I do not have my stool over here because it's wet. <laughs> anyway, what I am doing, I have was eating bananas and making banana nut bread. And what I did, I put my bananas in a jar and added with water and let it set in its steep. And also, they get the nutrients. So I had potassium water. I put that on these peppers right here because they're struggling. Leaf falling. I didn't have any pests eating the leaves, but it just leaf falling and they're not growing as well. I guess due to the weather and different things maybe the soil deficiency so what I'm doing today I'm going to be burying some of these banana peels and I have drenched it all with the banana potassium water but I have been putting um, 511 on this um, I did do another treatment of um, uh, granule granules but I am going to put a top dress of cow uh, black cow as well but not today as you can see my soil is so rich and it's so you know because i've been burying stuff on and off but i am going to put some um the rest of these this potassium and i buried it kind of deep so the smell won't attract any pests that want to dig it up that's one thing if you do direct burying of your produce from your kitchen scraps make sure you bury it deep so you do not have pests coming to dig it up in your garden so I buried it right up in here the worms would chew it up would love it I did put coffee grounds up here and since I do have a water thing right here I will move it a little bit over well just a little dig and it won't affect the banana peels I just buried. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find little trenches of where I didn't plant seeds, hopefully. And my soil is already rich. And I'm gonna dig trenches. Hopefully I don't damage the roots too bad. And I'm gonna bury the banana peels in this garden. And hopefully that will help with some of the deficiency that's going on in the soil that is causing some things not to grow as strong. Yellowing of the leaves also could be that. But I'm going to work on this soil. So I did these parts right here. Anything that looks like it's like a little opening in between. I know I planted some, um, what's it called, Swiss char over here. And I did, so that will work for this area. So I will go right here and over here where this water pitcher at and bury some more. And if you don't know who I am, this is Tish just doing what I do. I think I got see anything. Let's see what's coming up. Um, Tish just doing what I do, subdivision gardener. And this morning, I'm out here supposed to be watering, which I will. And my soil is still damp and watered, but I want to make sure it stay that way and not get dried all the way up down in the roots. So the trench is done. Taking the bananas out, and I will reuse this again if I have more bananas. But right now I didn't buy any more because it was eating, getting eaten kind of slow in the house. And I wasn't baking any banana bread. But I had a request. <laughs> I made a blueberry banana nut bread. And my son don't like nuts in his. And he said, Mom, you put nuts in it? So I think he would like one without one. So I might make mini muffins. So I'm gonna do this side right here, right in between these two plants. Bring it all the way over here. A nice trench. Hopefully I don't damage any roots that's developing for these plants. And maybe the 
bananas will help with the development of the roots too. So this whole bed, they're getting bananas. And I probably put some over there in the squash zucchini bed too. Okay, so now, and I see worms already crawling in here. The soil is so rich, it looks so beautiful. I know it's got nutrients in it, but I wanna help it out. So, hopefully it'll pick up and it will help the garden out for the rest of the season. So that's done with that. And I'm gonna go on and do some more. Now in the zucchini bed, which I will be planting more than zucchini. I had digged up all the old ones that was not producing, but male flowers, no female. And they started to get uh, squash boards and they wasn't doing anything. So if they wasn't producing, it's time to pull them up. You know, in the Bible, Jesus cursed the fig tree because it wasn't producing any fruit for the land. I'm not gonna curse it, but I had to pull it up. I didn't want it to affect anything else. And if I seen one of those boars down there, I would have had pull those up as well so that was the end of all my two jars of bananas and it's feed I don't bear the rest over here hopefully they help with the soil the plants are struggling a little bit I'm going to get some more seeds and plant seeds in here I don't think I'm gonna do it right now because I don't I didn't bring them out so maybe tomorrow morning I'll be able to plant a little bit more right up in this section right here and over there and I will be filling up the water jugs and one of my videos I told you about the irrigation system which are working wonderfully to keeping water um, keeping it moist and keeping water in the beds so what I do early morning because we have these hot days in the in the um, south I water heavily in the mornings. Um, I check the soil. Usually if the top inch of your finger and it's dry, I water it because we want the water to go down in the roots heavily. Then I fill up my jug so it can continue to have a drip system all during the day. Sometimes it get cold too tight and sometimes I have to loosen it. But sometimes also the water itself the soil is already damped or watered good and it won't go in. So I just unloosen these a little bit more because I think it was a little bit too tight on these jugs so they can constantly get some water down in it. Um, I'll go and look at the soil. The soil is still damp. So this morning what I would do, because I did a heavy watering the other day, but we had these rains. So I am going to fill up all the jugs. The ones that don't have jugs will get a drench of water. Um, that's my um, uh, cucumber bed, my watermelon, as well as my cantaloupe. They get drenched down, soaked with water every day. And those are the main beds that do not have containers in them. Um, so the rest of them, I will be just filling the containers up. Other ones, I will be drenching them with um, water so they can be able to have a good uh, rest of the day while having any dry spells during the growth of the veggies. So that's conclude my um, little vlog tutorial on how I'm adding nutrients to my soil. Um, I am going to pick up some coffee grounds so I can put that on top of each one of the beds, some black cow and cover it back up with more straw for the next leg of the journey. Getting it prepared also that is helping the soil and the nutrients in the soil for the upcoming year, upcoming season, as well as what's in the ground now. These should be yep, green and strong. Right now, they look like got deficiency because they're not, these are new ones and they're still not growing. So something's in the soil, it's not, it's not enough nutrients in the soil to help in it. 
but I noticed the first bed of the new squash is doing much better. I have one back there that look good, but some of these don't look too well. But I'm gonna work on it and to get it where it needs to be. Okay, this is Tish, she's doing what I do, subdivision gardening. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing to my channel and being a part of my community. I thank you so much for all what you're doing and thank you for helping each other. We supposed to be out here helping each other and this gardening journey and whatever we're doing in life. Be blessed and thanks again. Bye now.